hello 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 everybody you're welcome to my channel ajib sings my name is ajibola i am the creative director of ajib sings fashion house yes if this is your first time visiting this channel you're very much welcome you're welcome i love you so much if you're a returning viewer you're welcome once again and i love you too and if you are a subscriber i i love you from the very very deep but pump part of my heart yes so let's go straight into what this video is all about today i'm going to be teaching you how i made this ankara bobo yes infused with asho okay yes so a quick one asho okay is a traditional fabric made by people in the western part region of nigeria that is the yoruba people so if this is what you love to watch stick by to the end and enjoy so let's go straight into what we'll be needing for this project we'll be making use of pins yes that's my pin cushion we're making use of a pair of scissors my tape measure we'll be making use of a marking chalk and we're making use of a ruler and also my asher okay fabric which i'm going to show you later on in the video so now i've gone ahead to fold my fabric wrong side facing me remember i used to say whenever you are doing a free and cutting always fold your fabric wrong side facing you so i folded it into two parts lengthwise and widthwise with the fold at the top the fold at the top yes and at the center um part center front there should be a fold at the top and at the center part so now i'm going ahead to measure the full length of my client my client is a very very tall woman she's very tall i think she was six she's 60 inches yeah the whole of a taper she's so tall like that so i'm sorry if you cannot see the end part of the ankara i'm sorry i discovered it later on when i was editing so now i've measured out a hem the total length of a gown and now i'm just ruling it out so i can cut it off i'm sorry 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 that but there's no much thing going on at the m area most of the work is just at the top area and so i went ahead to measure four and a half inches for my neck depth width of the gown and measured eight inches for the depth of the gown you can go lower depending on how much cleavage you want to reveal and I connected both points with my ruler together make, using a straight line to create a v-neckline. Mind you, this gown has two types of neckline. The front is different from the back. And for the back, I came down by one inch. And I used the curved area of my pattern master ruler to connect it using a curved line like this. And so at the selvage area of the folded fabric, I came down by one inch from the top and connected it to the neck width using a straight line to create the shoulder slant. And mind you, when, when you fold your fabric, make sure that the measurement from the mid of your back to your desired sleeve length is attained plus one inch. It's now time to take our body vertical measurement and from my shoulder slant there, as you can see, I am marking my shoulder to the bust line. So I'm just confirming the measurements from the starting line, the fold line, and I'm putting it, replicating it at the center front, as you can see me doing there. I'm connecting both lines together with a straight line. And so the next body vertical measurement to be taken will be from the shoulder to the chest line. And there is a formula I always use in deriving that. I just divide my bust circumference by 6 and I had 1.5 inches and I get that measurement. So I'm marking them on both ends to connect them together with a straight line ruler. And mind you, the next video will be about basic formulas how to derive your um, body measurements on certain parts of body measurements using some formulas so kindly subscribe and hit on your notification bell so that whenever i drop it you're going to be the first to be aware of that 
Now, the next vertical body measurement will be from the shoulder to the waist. And now, here I am marking it from my top to the bottom on both ends so that I can connect them with a straight line using my ruler as well. So after taking the body vertical measurement, it's time to take the horizontal measurement or body circumference measurement like we call it. And now I'm on the bust line. I've divided my bust circumference by four and I added four inches ease allowance for that and one inch sewing allowance in total five inches. You can go higher or lower than the ease allowance depending on the fullness you want to derive for your booboo and now I connected from the slant line to the chest line and now from that chest line I'm just drawing a curve to that bust line area and from that bust line area I just marked a straight line down to the hem straight line down to the hem and you will notice that I didn't mark out the hip line because the hip actually the hip of my client is not even up to her bust and um it's a booboo so it's not supposed to be a shapey way to reveal your shape and now i went ahead to separate the front piece from the back piece without cutting the shoulder slant and you will know the reason why later now i also went from the center front to measure two inches inwards from the top to the hem of the front pattern after placing my markings of two inches inward from the top to the bottom i went ahead to connect those points together with a straight line downwards as well after that being done then you have to create a curve from the neck width of the front. You can use your free hand or you can use your pattern master. I made use of a free hand at first, then used my pattern master to, you know, clean the curve line, to make the curve line smooth. So that is it. You're just going to make sure that you create a curve from the neck width towards that straight line, as you can see me doing here. So with my pair of scissors, I went ahead to cut out that portion away. And you can see me with my tape measure, trying to measure from the M, the bottom part of the dress, upwards towards the uh, front neckline carefully. You don't need to rush in this part. You just need to be careful and take, so you can take the accurate measurement. So I went upwards towards the front neckline and my tape measure was being um, exhausted so i just marked that point of exhaustion with my finger as you can see me doing here and continued with it with the tape measure to measure round towards the back neckline and mind you your fabric is still on fold so whatever measurement you get um, by doing this you have to times it by two so I got 65 and a half inches all together and I times that by two. So here is my Asho K. Okay. It came in two colors, but I wanted the green to be the one revealing. So I did a lot of cutting and stitching together. So I cut it the strip by that 65 times two by five inches with width. So now, as you can see here, I have done that and I placed that aside. So I also went ahead from my neck, front neckline, the shoulder area, I measured down my 8 inches depth, that is the depth of your neckline, and also measured again from the back neckline towards that 8 inches um, depth marking that we made. And whatever measurement you get, you're going to use that to, to make your actual key neckline. So I went ahead as well to, to notch the back neckline and also took my, measure, my measuring tape through at the bottom, as you can see, and I'm measuring upward. I measured about 14 inches 
with the earning allowance inclusive that will be my slit opening you can go higher than that depending on how much you want to reveal so that measurement i took from the back neckline to the neck width the front neck width i have marked it from the actual key i folded the actual key into two equal parts i marked it and from that neck width as you can see i'm measuring downwards towards where my slit will stop i hope you're getting my point where my slit will stop from the neck width to the place where the slit will stop i measured it and also did that marking on my actual key i replicated it on my actual key and from the neck width i stitched down to where the slit will stop and you, as you can see i've already stitched it and i'm trying to open it up i stitched it right side facing each other and i opened it up this way and so after opening it up this is how it looked like the opening at the top is for the neckline both the back and the front neckline and the opening at the bottom part of the actual k is for the slit that we created and so i'm going to open up my ankara fabric right side facing me this way i'm going to lay it flat smoothly on my table and after doing that i'm going to find out the midpoint of my actual key i already know it because i have a joining there i'll advise you to notch yours and place it on the notch of the back neckline that you created initially then i'm just going to sew the actual key to the ankara right side facing right side and after i stitch them together like this this is the end result and that's the stitching inside which i am going to which i weaved later with my surgery <laughs> And so after that being done, I just cut out a strip of Ashoke fabric to turn my sleeve outward. I cut it by the length of the sleeve there by two and a half inches width. So I use that in sewing that outward. As you can see me showing you here, I've already done that on both sleeves and I just sewed the sides of the booboo together, which I shouldn't have because my client later called me that she needed pockets in front of her gown. So I would advise you not to join the side of your booboo yet until you put your pockets. That's if you want pockets on your gown. So for the pocket part of this tutorial, you just need to fold your piece of fabric by 8 inches wide and 10 and a half inches long by length. So you just cut it out in two pieces. So after cutting my Ankara pocket, I went ahead to cut my Ashoke flap, you know, for an extra touch. And I used the width of the Ankara by two and a half inches to turn the pocket outward just for an extra design. Then after doing that here at the pocket, like I told you, you shouldn't join your side of your booboo together. It was very difficult for me to place the pockets on them. But as a professional, I made it through. But if you're a beginner, I advise you to lose it or do not sew your sides of your booboo together. So now I'm just going to measure from my shoulder to the hip length that is from shoulder to the hip where your hip is starting from my was 22 inches so i placed my pockets carefully and two inches away from the center from that actual key, um strip at the center so i placed it 22 inches height and two inches away from the center with my pins and took it to my sewing machine to sew neatly and here is the final look. I went ahead to embellish it with quality rhinestones at the neckline, the sleeves, and at the pocket area. And it's giving elegance. It's giving royalty. I'm telling you guys. 
and if you want this you want to place an order you love what you see i'm going to drop my online store link in my description box so that you can reach me directly i deliver nationwide and worldwide if you enjoyed this video and it gave you value give it a thumbs up share with your sewing community subscribe and hit on the notification bell bye